All right, now the countdown for India's second moon mission, Chandrayaan-2, is presently underway. With this, India will enter into another elite space club. But the 20-hour countdown, in fact, began on Sunday evening. The launch is all set to take place at the Satish Dhawan Space Center at Sri Harikota at exactly 2.43 p.m. this afternoon. Now, the chairman of the Indian Space Research Organization has said that the technical snag that had been developed in the first attempt of the launch has not been corrected and therefore this time round there should be no issues in Chandrayaan 2 blasting off from Sri Harikota. Adan Pragwande, Padamo, Padan the Nimbatil Vande, Kadesiaka Vande, the Chandrayan Vande, near South Pole. All right, so that was K7. They're stating that Chandrayan 2 will, in fact, be heading to the South Pole. Remember, Chandrayan 2 was originally scheduled to launch on the 15th of July earlier this month. However, the mission was called off after a technical snag had been detected. But the project will explore the South Pole of the Moon, a region where no other nation has been able to reach. Now, the mission will also be studying the lunar surface and will also continue its predecessor, Chandrayaan-1, search for water on the moon. The notably, Chandrayaan-2 would also make India the fourth country after the United States, Russia and China to carry out what is described as a soft landing on the moon. All right, now my colleague Siddharth MP is presently joining us for more on this very important story. Good morning to you, Siddharth. Now, this, this, of course, is a very crucial day indeed for ISRO. We saw what happened on the 15th of July. Pretty much everything was on track till just an hour before the launch. Due to a technical snag that was detected, the launch was called off. But this time around, ISRO is saying that everything is will go according to plan. <laughs> Absolutely, ISRO this time around is very confident and the 20-hour uh, countdown for Chandrayaan-2 mission that is to lift off shortly in a couple of hours began 20 hours ago, that is, uh, it was at 6.43 last evening that the countdown began and since then ISRO has been putting out a series of tweets indicating that the solid fuels and the liquid fuels that go into the first and second stage of the rocket respectively have been uh, filled and also subsequently the other stage, that is the cryogenic fuel, will also be filled a couple of hours prior to the launch so everything progressing on track as of now and clearly last Monday we were speaking about how this was a temporary setback and we didn't expect that it would be resolved so soon. Some were saying that it could take uh, up to September because this launch window is something uh, that is not within ISRO's control because it's only a couple of minutes every day that this mission can be launched so that it reaches the lunar orbit at the intended time. But yes, right. ISRO has been able to use all their technical expertise and might and they've been able to rectify the fault and now they're launching barely one week after the initial launch date. Absolutely indeed, Siddharth. Thank you very much indeed for joining us and getting us all those updates. We'll of course...